Hi, it's Anne from The Useless Crafter. So today I have a special request to do Minnie and Mickey at 40, well, I wrote down 48 inches, but I wanna say it was 40. But let's go into images. I thought it'd be kinda of cool to do design space images because um, you can practice on this one and you don't have to pay for it unless you actually make it. So this way everyone has access to the same files and we can do that. So I did Mickey with the skeleton. I wonder if there's a mini uh, skeleton one. So let's look. Oh, there's mini this one. Oh, but that one's not a design space image. That one I bought. Um, sorry, I'm scrolling, I'm scrolling. Okay, so there is, let's do mini as this one, this mini witch, that's cute. Cause then it will match Mickey that we did. Um, I don't know where it is. <laughs> okay, so let's do this one, insert images. Um, the last one I did at 40 inches, so let's also do this one at 40. So go to height and type in 40 and just hit tab and it will automatically make your width the appropriate size. I'm gonna zoom out, so go down here in the corner and I'm gonna go to 25% so that we don't have to scroll up and down. Okay, so let's just, oh, you know what? This one's perfect because the Mickey that I did also had the same jack-o'-lantern little um, trick-or-treat purse thingy. <laughs> All right, so let's look at this. So we have a white layer, which is kind of weird um, because I feel like the gloves and those pieces could be just white by themselves, and that is a layer right here. So I don't think we need this white layer. I'm gonna delete it and see what we have. Okay, nothing changed. So we didn't need that layer. We have our black background. So in our right-hand side panel, we have our black background and then all the colors that sit on top, perfect. Um, It looks like we have three different shades of purple. Now, if you know me, I three shades of purple is too much. If you have it, perfect. If you don't, I don't, so I'm gonna make it too. So let's see, um, we have the the bow and the cape is a dark purple. No, what is that? No, the cape is a dark purple. The bow is not, the bow is a just a little bit lighter. So I'm thinking the bow and all of this, I'm gonna change that so that's this layer. So let's ungroup it. Let's grab this layer and go to the color and let's make it the dark purple. So you can see it didn't change that much. So we have dark purple and then the light purple in her dress and her shoes. I think that's a good, a good compromise. Okay, so we've ungrouped everything. Let's just double check that her face is good. Yeah, so her face at 40 inches is gonna fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, which is what we want because the lighter color cardstock you do not want any seams. There's nothing that I could do to mask that seam if we have one. And it's so distracting to have a seam right down the face, right? So let's not do that. So 40 inches looks good. All right, so here is this purple layer. So the purple layer is 13.128 wide and 37 inches long, but it really isn't, right? We need to, we can't ungroup it, so we need to slice everything out. So in order to slice it out, let's grab a square. You can grab any shape, but I always, I'm used to doing a square. So make it really big and let's slice out these little bows for the, for the shoes, okay? So we're gonna grab the square and the purple and slice. So now we can get rid of the slice results. We don't need that. But see now these things are by themselves. We can even further do it, which I would recommend. So um, turn this over. When you're slicing things apart, you wanna make sure that the one piece is completely isolated in the square. All right, so we're gonna grab these two things and slice. So now, when we go to cut this, you can put them really close to each other like that and we can save cardstock that way. I'm a big person on saving cardstock because I always use glitter cardstock for these things and it gets expensive, so. All right, this little skirt thing right here, I think I can get it to fit. Okay, this is not good because you see that tail, it comes out right there. So I need to make sure that the whole thing is isolated, so I'm gonna do this instead. 
So I'm going to use the same square, but flipped it, flipped it over, and it's completely covering the piece that I want to slice out. So I'm going to do this and slice. All right, so let's see. And this piece is 11.18 by 4.6. Perfect. Let's slice out this piece. I'm going to use the same thing, okay? And you see you can do that because that whole middle piece is covered right here, even though this is sticking up here. I'm going to grab my... My mouse is going to grab the two items and slice. All right. Now, this thing is pretty efficient right here. I'm not going to bother um, slicing this piece out and this piece out. I'm going to keep it like this. So this is 10 inches by 3.17. We're all good. This one is 11.95 by 10.9. So let's separate this. This is technically three pieces, right? Whoa, I almost fell out of my chair. Sorry. <laughs> Um, okay, so we're going to use a different method to slice this out. So this is three pieces. We're going to use contour. So when you use contour to separate the pieces, however many pieces you're going to separate it into, you need that many copies. So we need three total, right? So here's one. I'm going to go to duplicate. Here's two and three. So let's go and grab the first one and click contour. Contour is where my face is on the screen right now. It's in your bottom right hand corner. Okay, so click on contour. And you see here's our three pieces. You can either select in the image. So I'm going to remove the middle and the right. So here's the left part of my bow that's left, right? How awesome is that? I didn't use contour for the longest time and it's one of my biggest regrets with design space. All right, let's go to contour for this one. Now, the other way is you can click hide all and it's gonna leave the top one, <clears throat> excuse me, which in this case is the left bow. So we're good there. So here's the left and we just need the middle piece, right? So contour, you can select here. I don't want this one and I don't want this one and that leaves the little thing, the little guy in the middle. All right, perfect. So let's get rid of this. Let's move out. Oh, how cute are these little, the little orange pumpkins in her dress. All right, so this, um, again, let's bring in our square and start slicing these pieces out. Okay, so let's slice this corner out. Now, anytime that the slice button on the bottom is grayed out, it's because you picked up, you did not pick up exactly two pieces. If you pick up one, obviously, what the heck are you going to slice it with if you only picked up one item with your mouse? If you pick up more than two, you can't slice. You can only slice two items at one time, okay? I will say that unless design, design space is acting up, it's a user error. All right, so I'm going to get this guy right here. So I'm going to bring this square up. And that's not going to work. Okay, there. So I want to make sure this square only gets that one guy in there. Okay, so I'm going to grab it from here like this. And do you see where my um, cursor is? I'm not even touching the piece that I want to isolate. It doesn't matter. As long as my mouse picks up the general purple and the square. All right, so I'm going to slice that out. Get rid of your slice results. You don't need that. I'm going to move that out of the way. All right, this guy, let's do, let's grab both of them at the same time. All right, so let's do this and slice. So now I just have the wings. This we can get rid of. And let's grab the wing right here. And I'm gonna go this way down. And did you see how thin that sliver was? But it's enough to grab the piece that you need. To tell design space that's what I want sliced out. Okay, so now that we have this, you could, you know, let's slice out that one piece because I have a feeling, <clears throat> excuse me, with the shape that, oh, you know what? And look, it, it's a little bit big. So let's look at this shape for a second. Um, let's, okay, I think I got it. Let's grab these two and slice. So we got this guy. This guy is 13 inches by 11. Um, let's see if we rotate it a little bit. Okay, there's nothing I can do about this. We're gonna need to slice this guy. Now, 
I, if I did this one, and I'm not going to, but if I were to do this and actually cut it, I would use a dark purple glitter cardstock and then I would slice right here. And the reason why I would slice right here is because it's the most thin piece to slice. You're not gonna notice the seam. And if it's a dark one, you're really not gonna notice it. So I wanna put it like right here. And I'm gonna grab these two items and I'm gonna slice. So now this is 10 by 11.4, so you can cut that. And this little guy is tiny. But when you go to tape this together, no one's gonna notice this little quarter inch seam, especially with a dark color purple, you're not gonna be able to see it. Now, when you go cut this piece, what I want you to do is, okay, I'm gonna, there's, for a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, it's just like fabric. There is a direction for the grain. So if you think of like, think of suede fabric, right? And you run your hand through it, you could see like, your hand makes, um, I don't know, like an imprint on the suede, right? So your glitter cardstock is the same way. So what you want to do is you want to make sure, so this goes right here, right? I haven't rotated anything. You want to make sure that when you move this and you move it over, that it's still parallel to this piece. What you don't want to do is you don't want to turn it like this because now your grain is going to be different. Okay, so I'm going to undo that for a second. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make sure I'm going to hide this piece kind of in here and I'm going to attach this. Actually, I'm going to weld it. I want this to cut as is. So when you go to your make it screen, this will always stay together. This cut right here and this will stay parallel. No matter if you turn it this way, these two will still be facing the same direction. So the grain will still be in the same way and that way you're going to have the most seamless project ever. And I, I bet this is probably the only thing that we're going to slice up. Oh, actually maybe her skirt, I take that back. We'll look at that next. So I hope that makes sense why you wanna attach it. And um, I'll show you in the make it screen when we get there. Okay, so let's get rid of this. Let's pull out this. Ah, so yeah, this skirt, we're probably gonna have to slice it a little bit, but we'll see. Let's um, flip this around and let's slice out this bottom part right here first, just, to, just so that we can see what we're dealing with. So let's slice out that. So we have this, we can get rid of this. Okay, so we have this, we'll deal with this in a second. Um, but you see how it says it's 13 inches across? The way Design Space measures width and height is it goes from the most left to the most right and from the, the highest to the lowest. <clears throat> so if I rotate this, which I'm gonna rotate it like this, um, this actually we could cut at this point. This is 11.3 by 11.7. Granted, we could just remove this piece. This can be cut, but if you wanted to, technically you can cut this because this will fit on a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock, okay? This is, you would only need to do that if it was all attached, but we're gonna deal with this in a second. Let's look at this skirt. So let's remove that top part really quickly. Um, let's turn it this way, bring it in. All right, let's slice out that top part. And let's see what we really have with this skirt, okay? So this guy is good. All right, so this skirt is 18 inches by 7.3. Let's see if we rotate it at all. Does it help? No, it doesn't. Okay, um, so we're gonna need to slice this guy up. So it's 18 inches. I feel like if we sliced it right here and right here, that would be good. Okay, so All right, so how are we gonna do this? Let's, okay, actually we could just slice it right. I wonder if we slice it right here. I think we, if we sliced it right here, we would be okay. Let's do this. Okay, don't mind that this doesn't all fit, okay? We're gonna deal with that. Let's, I just wanna um, make a break right here. So let's slice it and I'll show you how to deal with it. Okay, so let's get rid of 
this. We don't need this. Okay. Let's make a duplicate of this whole thing, okay? <laughs> Before we mess with it. So here's our duplicate. All right, so on this one, let's go to contour and let's hide this piece. So we're hiding this piece completely, right? So we're left with this piece. So this piece though, I'm gonna zoom in for you to see because my square cut into it, it's not a whole piece. See how it has the cuts? But that's okay, because we're gonna grab this whole thing and we're gonna weld it back together. So now it's one whole piece again. So this piece is seven by 4.7, we're fine. Let's look at this one. So now we already have this piece, we can delete this. This piece, we can go to contour and we can get rid of this and this. So now we're left with this guy. Okay, so this is still too long, right? Um, so let me put this back here for a second. So this goes like this, okay. So I kinda wanna put him in here. So this piece, it's, it's sliced right here. Uh, if you want to keep track of the grain, let's see how big is this? This is 14. Okay, so let's see if we can twist this a little bit, okay? So let's grab both of these. We want to twist them at the same time. Let's see, if does this help? 14.2, it's getting smaller. I know I'm being really particular because I, wa I want this to be seamless. So let's turn it a little bit more. So 12.8, let's keep turning it. Okay. Eleven point eight, we're almost there. Okay, turn it a little bit more. Okay, so now this piece is 11.4 by 11.4. You can cut it on the Cricut, right? Now this piece, I mean, I wish I could do something with this piece and put it in, would that fit? Oh my God, we can make this work. So, and did you see how, so it's still parallel, right? It's still parallel to the original cut, because here it is. But now if I put it over here, it's gonna be with the same grain, okay? Oh my gosh, yes. Okay, and it's 11 and a half by 11 and a half. So I'm gonna weld it. I want it to cut like this. It's gonna have the same grain because it's parallel to where it was cut, okay? Oh my gosh, that's so awesome. This is gonna look so amazing. All right, so let's, Zoom back out, let's see what else we have. All right, we wanna separate this piece, right? So this is in three pieces. Let's go and duplicate it. Here's our second, third, and let's go to contour. So it's three pieces, let's just hide all. It's gonna leave us this top one. So here's this top one, all good. Second one, contour, um, hide all. I want this one, I don't want this one. So it leaves me with the other shoe and then I just need that far piece and contour and we can just click on the picture. I don't want this and I don't want this and that's gonna leave me the little guy. All right, so we are just plowing through this thing. Okay, so let's get rid of our square. We don't need that. Okay, let's look at her gloves. Um, okay, so you need to slice up all these pieces. This one should be fine. So really right now, the only seams we have are the two purple ones, but where we cut it, it's minimal. And two, we were able to make sure that they cut on the same piece, facing the same direction in the grain of the paper. So it's gonna look flawless. Um, okay, so we have the white. Let's look at the black or the orange. Okay, so this sits on top, got it. Okay, then we have the green. Okay, and then we have this orange. 
Sorry, I'm just looking to see how many more pieces we have. Okay, so I think we're good. All right, so we got a few more things to slice up, right? So let's look at this glove, the white. I'm gonna move it down where we have a little bit more uh, free space. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's go to shape, bring in our square, and let's slice this apart because as is, it's not gonna let us cut it, right? Because it's 30 by 20. So let's make this square really big and let's start slicing out pieces. Let's start slicing that. So grab these two things, slice, and I'm gonna move my face first. Oops, sorry. I'm gonna move this so that you can see my slicing over here. So get rid of your slice results. Here's the first piece of white. Let's do the hand next. So grab the two items and go to slice down here. Get rid of your slice results. We don't need that. We can move this hand. Um, let's grab that little piece that was right here. Okay, so I'm leaving that white piece right here. I wanna show you something. So here's the hand and everything's still here, right? But I'm gonna grab my mouse from this way. And you see, even though I'm grabbing the square and the white, I'm not grabbing that extra, I didn't grab this white piece, so it still lets me slice, even though it's in my square, but my mouse didn't grab it. All right, so same thing with the eyes. I'm gonna do it again. So here's the eye. Let's make sure it's completely in. And you see this piece is still here, the hand is still here, but as long as my mouse doesn't pick up those two pieces, I'm only picking up the eye and the square and it lets me slice. All right, so now let's move this out of the way. And we have this piece, this piece, and we can get rid of the slice results. And here's our two little eyes. All right, let's see, what do we have left? Um, just the orange and the green. Okay, so this orange is already done because it's the, by itself. All right. <laughs> We're almost there. Let's grab the square. Okay. Make it big. Let's do this pumpkin. All right. There. And let's grab these two items and slice. And I'm gonna do these two together because I feel like two is still fine. There's a lot of orange on here, slice. And you see, I'm just making my way through. I'm gonna slice, there's a lot of stuff in my square, right? But I can still slice because my mouse is only picking up two items. All right, so I'm gonna move it over here. I'm gonna slice out that little piece. We're almost there. I'm gonna turn this just a little bit because I wanna make sure this piece is not in my square. All right, here we go, slice. And we're done with the orange. So let's move everything out. These are all our slice results. We don't need that. Oh, I sliced something extra right there. That's okay. I'm just gonna leave that, that's fine. I wasn't careful enough. Okay, so all these pieces are separated. Let's grab all this and delete it. And all we have left is the green and then the black background. All right, so another square and then we're almost done. But this gives you the idea you can go in and do any image that you want in design space, okay? Let's slice here. Right, and then move this down. We can slice out that guy. And, oh, we can't even leave it because it's too big. Hold on. See, it's 13 inches. 
It's a big piece. All right, let's grab that. Okay, so this is gone. Let's slice out these two. So I'm gonna rotate this and let's grab those two items out and then we'll be done with the green. If you want to be really, really good, you can slice out these three items as well. But you get the picture. I'm not gonna make you sit through all of that. All right, so now we have all this stuff, right? I'm gonna move it all over. All we have left is the black background. So um, the one thing that I noticed is there's like these little cutouts here. I say, let's get rid of them. No one's gonna notice it, but all of a sudden it might rip your paper as it's cutting. So I just try to get rid of anything that can get in the way. So let's go to contour and click in the number. It'll take you to 100% quicker. And then we can just click on these things. I don't want that little guy, that, that. No, thank you, no, thank you. It's up to you. I mean, I feel like this is significant enough to keep in and um, this hole, okay? All right, so now we have our black background. Let's bring in our squares, okay? So um, our first square, here it is. We're gonna go up and make it 11 by 11. So what we're doing is we're basically saying, technically you could cut 11 and a half by 11 and a half. I hate dealing with half inches. I'd rather build my flush squares with 11 by 11. So just put it somewhere in the corner to get us started, okay? We're gonna go to the position feature and we're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So 6.1 becomes six, 5.33 becomes five, and basically what we're saying is your X coordinate is the one that's running across. Go over six units, go down five units. Here's the start of our square. We're gonna duplicate the square, put it really close to this one and go to our position feature. We're gonna round to the nearest whole number. So this becomes 17, this becomes five. So I can show you the math behind it. This one, the X coordinate was at six, right? So six plus 11 is 17 and there's 17. So we wanna make them flushed because we wanna make sure that when we're slicing, we're not leaving any pieces out and we're not overcutting either. We're not overlapping. We want them flushed so that when you're piecing this together, you can just push them up. It helps avoid the seams and it just goes for a perfect project. All right, so let's duplicate these two. Let's grab them, okay? So this one's selected, hit your shift key, grab the other square and duplicate. And now you have your four squares. So put it really close, round to the nearest whole number. This becomes 28, this becomes five. Now let's grab all four squares, okay? And we're gonna duplicate. And just put it close, then you don't have to do any math. Six and 16. All right, then you can hit the shift key Grab all eight squares and duplicate. Then we're almost done. Okay, we'll put it down here. And this becomes six and 27. And the math is, oh no, oh, six, not five. There we go. The math is the same. So this corner, your Y corner is five. So five plus 11 is 16 and there's 16. Okay, so that's, that's how that works. Let's go to our right hand side panel and scroll all the way down. We want this black background, select it, go to arrange and send to the front. We wanna see where we're slicing mini, okay? And I'm gonna zoom in a little bit because I can't see. <laughs> all right, we wanna make sure that where we're slicing her, we're not slicing anything tiny teeny, okay? Like this fingertip, I'm not really down with that because then you gotta keep track of this little piece, glue it, uh, yeah, so we're gonna move that something like this, okay? Like this you don't want because you don't want this tip to be sliced off. But sometimes when you're dealing with a big piece, it is what it is, okay? Like the tail, I'm not gonna want the tail to be its own piece. I want it to be attached here, so I'm good with this. This is a big piece, this is a decent size. Um, I would maybe move this over just a little bit. Let's see, I don't know where that cuts. Can't tell. Um, let's look at this. So let's move this down. 
let's see so this whole piece is oh gosh it like i said it is what it is it's almost easier if we did something like this okay so this piece is by itself this piece is by itself oh i don't like that Yeah, she's so big that that's what, oh, and I don't want this tail by itself. All right. Let's see what we have. It's either this piece or that piece. All right, let's just do something like that. All right, you're gonna have to deal with it. This piece is gonna be by itself, okay? Um, let's just make sure everything else is good. All right, so I think that's the way it's gonna be. So let's get rid of all the squares that we don't need, okay? We don't need this one. We don't need this one, just delete it. We don't need that or that. Don't need that one, okay. Ready to slice? one square at a time and the image, okay? So we're taking this 40 inch mini and we're slicing it up into pieces that your Cricut can cut. So now instead of the gigantic 40 inch block piece, we have one ear that's 8.7 by 7.5. We can cut that, okay? Ah, sorry, undo that for a second. Let's go over here, grab mini on this square and slice. Now you see I'm kind of moving everything over and keeping it in place so that you know later when you go to cut this and you take this piece off the mat, you know exactly where it goes. We can get rid of the slice results. So just grab that and delete. Let's slice the next piece. And the next piece. Okay, move this over. So that's a nice big chunk. This one, not so nice with this piece, but like I said, it is what it is. <laughs> when you go to make a 40 inch character, that's what's gonna happen. All right, let's grab this, slice, slice, slice here, slice here. slice up down here. I'm just making my way through the project. And I think we have everything sliced up now. <clears throat> Oops, did I not hit slice? Okay. All right, so this goes all the way over here. This goes here. Let's grab all of this. We can delete that. All right, get rid of all of this. Okay, so there's our mini. I think this is a little bunched up right here. Hold on, let me grab this. There. Looking like what, what we know, right? <clears throat> oh my gosh, excuse me, I had just a frog in my throat. All right, let's go to the Make It page so you can see what I'm talking about. All right, so here's our white. You can make this a little bit Better. You can squeeze that in there. And this is what happens when you separate things, right? You can make it more efficient. You can turn this one all the way around and see if we can get it any better. Right, you can do something like this. Next time you can see if you have a big piece that you can use again. Or wait a minute, we can click on this one. Click on this one, click the three dots and we can move it. So we're gonna move the object, we're gonna move it to the first page. And here it is. So we can put it right here. Um, that's not really efficient, huh? Let's see. Let's move this over. Let's move this. Let's see if I can squeeze it in. I can't, but I can do this. Okay. There. All right, 
right, so the next time we use this, let's see, you, oops. I feel like this can fit somewhere. Okay, you would have a three by 12 piece of white cardstock that can be easily used for something else. All right, so let's look at our black. Here's a big black, that's kind of small. Maybe we can fit something else in there. Okay, we can, let's move these guys over. Um, let's see, let's go back to this one. Here, this one, let's move this. Click on this, move object. Let's move it to that one where it's by itself here. Okay, and let's see what we can do. Start turning this stuff around and making it work. All right, so these two pieces are together. Let's move that to another page. I think it can fit here. Mm, hold on. Let's move this. There. <laughs> so that fits. Let's go back, let's see. This is all one piece. This is good. There's still some space. So, I mean, we saved a little bit. We saved one sheet. <laughs> we could probably do better, but that's up to you how much you wanna move things around. Here is the lip or the tongue, the mouth or the face. Gosh, I'm like losing my head here. Okay, this we can do better. We can move these two over. Move object. And let's move that to this sheet and we'll have to move it around a little bit. But yeah, you can even use in the empty space here. Like that. Okay, so you can see how that works. All right, here's our green. Same thing with the green. So I didn't, I didn't separate these three, right? But I can use the empty space still and put these in here. And we can definitely move this guy over. And it's still pretty efficient even though I didn't separate everything. All right, here's our purple. So I kept this, this is parallel, this is parallel to here. It's gonna be the same grain and it's gonna cut beautifully. So there's our purple. Here's our second purple. This one can go on the other page. So let's click on this, move the object. I think it should fit on here. Let's see. Oops, I don't wanna move it, I just wanna twist it. Um, yeah, here we go. Okay, move this in here. Move this over here. So next time we have this space that you can use your beautiful purple and some other project. All right, this one, we can definitely move some of these things around. Yeah, I would just start what am I doing here? You can start moving things and making it more efficient for sure. All of this can fit on another page. Move object. Let's move it to here. Right, there's still space here for other pieces. All right, so that's it. 40 inches of mini. She's gonna look Flawless, trust me, if you do it this way, she's gonna look amazing at 40 inches. I mean, think how big that is. All right, so if you have any other special requests, please just let me know. Um, post a comment, like it, of course, just like my things is like and subscribe. Um, or you can email me, and at theuselesscrafter.com. Thank you so much, I hope this was helpful. All right, see you next time.